In this video today, we are going to be talking about the updated comping system in PropStream. Now, I use PropStream to run all of my comps. They have MLS comps, they have off-market comps. And what they've done recently is they have put these two together. I also pull all of my lists through PropStream. Without PropStream, I don't know what I would do. I mean, it is, it is basically one of the lifebloods of my business. So today I'm gonna make a video for you guys and I'm gonna show you how to combine these two types of comps, the on-market MLS comps, as well as the off-market comps. I have with me today one of my good friends, Paul. Paul's gonna actually do the driving. We're gonna jump right in. Paul, how are you, sir? You don't have any money or anything to bring to the table, then ask them what you can do. I have investments and assets that pay me enough money that it covers all of my expenses. Network, network, network. Uh, Dave, thanks for having me on, man. Thanks for uh, having me on there in these crazy times we find ourselves on here. But today we're going to dive right into to PropStream to show your viewers what PropStream is about. We're going to zip in there and show them how to navigate in their market, how to do a property search, how to pull up the comps and look at our new feature, which is really cool. We combine the public record and the MLS information all in one window. So it makes that comping real smooth and quicker, right? Boom. Being able to combine the MLS on-market comps with the off-market comps, guys, you are not going to find this anywhere online. Paul, thank you so much for joining me today, coming on the channel and uh, showing us some of these new features. You are the man, so I am grateful for you and your time. And for anybody that's wondering, Paul works for PropStream, so you are talking to PropStream right now. This is awesome. So Paul, fill us in, show us some of these new features. I am ready. Man, you're, you're, you're so kind with that introduction, man. You're, you're, <laughs> you're, you're from another planet and I love it. All right, brother. So we're in here. Tell me if you can see my screen. I hope you do. I can see it. It looks good. We're uh, here in PropStream, right? So in your uh, initial window, there's a whole bunch of different things that, that you can do, right? On, on the initial uh, page of PropStream. But what we're going to focus on specifically is really pulling up your comps for a property address that you might have. It might be a lead that came into you. It might be a house you drove by. It might be a referral, whatever, right? It's a property address that you want to run some comps on. So let's go in here. We're going to throw in, uh, let's throw in this uh, property address. Boom, right here. This is random property address here we have in Florida. We'll let this load up. As it loads up, we're going to see this little details page here on the bottom. Boom, we hit details and we have everything we need to know about this property. Man, I love how clean this interface is. Here, go back for a second. Click X out of that just for one second. Man, I just love how this works with the search at the top and the filter. And then you have some of these lists that are pre-populated based upon the address itself. So based upon the city or the county. But then on the right side, it's just so clean. So you have the map, of course. And then just all the details about the property. And then down below, what's the list down below right there, Paul? These are uh, nearby listings, meaning uh, neighbors, uh, MLS. So it's a list of the properties for this uh, particular category. So you can kind of get a quick search of, of the surrounding uh, properties uh, in a list view. Oh, cool. So if you see on the map, those properties in the, in the vicinity are all numbered, probably based on uh, on distance, I would think, or something along those lines. And you can see right here. So, I mean, you can, you're, we're already analyzing right here from the first screen before you even Shot, click right. on deep. Boom, there. right there. Yeah, exactly, man. You get everything you need right there as far as like your neighbors, the map, the overhead view. And then with the details button, and boom, it gets you into the, the main window of that individual property, right? And that's going to show you everything about this particular property as far as the value, uh, any of the stress flags it might have, um, really just the, the, the characteristics of the building itself, right? Sometimes you're talking to a seller on the phone and they're telling you that the property is a thousand square feet when in reality it's only 500, right? It's a tiny little yeah. box. Right? Oh yeah. So you have oh, yeah. all that basic information that you can vet here, uh, but 
the, the, the most important section that we're going to talk about today is the comping window, right? We can come into the comps window and quickly identify what properties around our subject property has sold, right? When, when it sold, how they sold, uh, what it looks like, and, and we can use our filters to really get the most uh, like properties to, to find our comps, right? So, so, let me show so you how to do before that. we go forward, Paul, this is crazy because comps are co comparables and nearby listings right there in the middle. So that you actually have tabs. And when I first started using prop stream, man, it's been so long. It's been like 10, 11, maybe 12 months. It's probably been a year at this point. When I first started using it, I didn't even know that was there. So if you click back on property details and you just can keep, you can scroll down. And some of these are like, there's so much information in there. So right there, I mean, boom, you have a, a wealth of knowledge. And then you have these tabs. I didn't even know that existed for like the first four months I was using it. <laughs> you gotta start clicking around. You start I know, clicking around. Man. You find so much information in here, man. But you're right. In the property details, I mean, you literally get everything you're looking for uh, or might not even know you're looking for about that particular building. Yeah. Right? I mean, house. really, if it tells me what they owe, that's enough. You know, I'm like, okay, boom, I can make an offer or at least know if it's worth making an offer. But um, that's more for offers. Comparables is more for determining your ARV, your exit strategy. Love it. So guys, click on that uh, comparables in the middle right there. And then you have a wealth of knowledge right here. So Paul, sh show us how this works. So you see public record, MLS, and bull. So this is again, where you're combining that MLS on market data with that off market data. Awesome. Yeah, it's cool, man. We did an update to make it easier for the for the user to be able to come in here and kind of uh, flow through the properties. You know, during the day, if you're comping a, a whole handful or, or 10, 20, 30 properties, you want to be able to smoothly go through the process, right? So we combine public record, we combined MLS, uh, all within the one window. If you want to see it separate, you can, or you can see it together. And this is going to allow you to see any properties that may be sold on the MLS, but haven't yet recorded on public Public record, right? Where that's going to be important, that's going to affect your price, right? It's certainly going to maybe affect your offer price if something just within the last couple of days sold. Maybe it sold higher, maybe it sold lower, that offer price might adjust, right? So having the ability to be able to see what has recently sold uh, on the MLS and also what has sold on the public record, right? Because not everything that sells on MLS is everything that's sold, right? There's transactions that are occurring outside of MLS. So here you have them next to each other, back to back. And you can see that here by the alternating color. Blue being the MLS listing, uh, green being the public record. You can see that there is duplicates. And if there isn't, that means that there's one that hasn't been there, right? One that hasn't recorded. It being a public record one, not being on the MLS, or something that happened on the MLS that hasn't uh, recorded to the public record. Oh, I see. Okay. That's really cool how that color coordinated, look, color coordinated like that. Like here, for instance, see how there is no blue in between? That means it, it was not an MLS transaction. You get to understand it as you start using it, right? So we added the color so that you can quickly identify stuff like that. And, and I tell it to you this way, man, because I also have uh, a wholesaling business that I operate. And I, I go in here and I start putting in the comps. And as you're doing this a whole bunch of times a day, you need to be able to identify what's what really quickly, right? So we actually added additional features that can help you with that as well. By going into the gear, you can actually select the columns that are important to you. You know, what do you need to see there to make your quick comparisons of these properties, right? Maybe you don't need the property type. Maybe you don't need the days on market. Whatever you don't need, you can just hit apply and save, right? We'll get that. Boom. We'll take that out. And then now maybe these columns are just easier for whatever you need uh, in, in how you look at these properties, right? We give you all the tools, we give you the filters so you can shrink it down. You know, what is it that you look for when you're, uh, coming up with your offer price? You know, some people might use the average of, you know, the two, or the three or the closest, or they have some sort of formula. No, that's a, I'm so glad that you brought that up guys. So let's review running comps. So what we are looking for is we are looking for like properties, right? Properties that are similar to the subject property, the one that we are trying to buy or the one that we are going to be analyzing. So what that means is that you can't compare a ranch house to a two and a half story house. You want to find like property. So if it's a ranch compared to ranches, if it's a two story, try to find two stories. Now, proximity is also very important. The closer to your subject property, 
the better. When I run comps, I look a quarter mile. That's where I start. And if I have to go out to a third of a mile or even a half of a mile, I will. But I'm always looking for a quarter mile, right? That is not very far away, all right? Next, you want to match those bed and bathrooms. You can't be trying to compare a two-bedroom house to a six-bedroom house. It doesn't work. So again, like and it needs to be very similar with those number of beds and number of baths. Last but not least, actually there's two more that are very important. Uh, the, the next one would be the square foot. You know, again, you don't wanna be comparing an 800 square foot house to a house that is 3,000 square foot. They aren't the same. So you wanna try to find as similar a square foot as possible. And then finally, the last but not least that I jumped the gun on, um, would be school district, okay? You may have a property that's in the same neighborhood, but it's on other sides, right? Or two properties in the same neighborhood, but on other sides. And they could be in different schools. And that could be a 20 to 30% difference in price. Ask me how I know, Paul. How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> because I bought properties in the wrong school districts thinking they were in the right and I lost 20 to 30% on my sale because I didn't know. So lessons can be learned right here, right now by you guys watching this video. When running comps, you want to find properties that are as like as possible and as close as possible. The main features, let's recap, guys, let's recap. Like, okay, bed, bath, square footage, proximity, and then last and not last but not least would be your school district. So boom, I love it. Throw in year built in that one too. Year built too. Absolutely. I think that depends on the market that you're in. Absolutely. But absolutely. Because in yeah. St. Louis, we got houses built in 1860. We got others built, you know, now. So I mean yeah. that's that in, range. In a Florida too. market, yeah, you have homes that are built in, you know, 2000, 2005. You know, it's gonna be a difference between a house in 1950. Uh, so the you're very absolutely various make, markets are going to have their own little niche thing. So that's, that's definitely that's something, something to be in. Yeah. But that's another thing, guys. I mean, your market may be different and you may need to, to add something to those. Also, like we don't typically compare brick houses to stick build houses, right? right? They're just a little different. So again, the more things, I think here's the thing, Paul, the more things that you can attest to, to be similar or like your subject property, the better, that's right? It. That's it. That's the end of the game. The so most that's what like comps properties. is. Everybody always wants to overcomplicate comps, right? I mean, it, it doesn't have to be that hard. Just know what you're looking for, and that is it. Man, Paul, you hit it on this the head. is freaking awesome. Public check this out too. You, you mentioned combined. Boom. Check this out, man. So you, you you mentioned identifying your market and knowing your local market, right? Like the, whether it's the school zones or just like borders or roads, you can even take the pencil icon and draw the the border of where you want the system. I to love the draw feature because maybe north of this time. road right here is a different, completely different value just because it's north of a certain road. So you can actually pencil that out and just do your search inside of that window. Boom, guys, that right there, what Paul just did right there is huge. We do this all the time, not only with comps, but also when we're pulling lists. Sometimes I wanna hit a whole neighborhood. And I will just draw on the map and get that neighborhood. And I, I won't have any filter at all. I want all that, every piece. And boom, I'll filter that out. That is awesome right there, Paul. Very, very cool. Guys, if you are not running comps with PropStream, you need to be running prop, your comps there. I pull my motivated seller list from there as well. Paul, you guys have a seven-day free trial, right? Seven day free trial. Yeah, go in there. I mean, most people go in and actually start, you know, playing around, throw in some addresses they know, throw in some addresses they maybe have worked with before and really just get familiar with, with the platform. It's pretty easy to use. Guys, down below the video, there'll be a link for you guys to get a free trial. Check it out. I don't promote things that I don't use, right? And this is one that I use every single day. Paul, thank you so much for coming on today and showing not only me, <laughs> but my viewers and my audience how awesome PropStream is and having the ability to run those comps, right? Both the MLS on market as well as the off market in one single place. Down below, you guys will see a link to that video. Thanks for watching.